You need to stop scrolling and listen to this. Today, I want to talk about Staphylococcus infection. Ha! <laughs> Staphylococcus! There's a way you hear that name, self, you'll be afraid of what it is. And in fact, every time you go around, especially in the street of the streets of Lagos, major markets, you hear vendors talking about staphylococcus, how it can cause this and cause that. Most of them are lies. They will tell you they have concussions that can treat it. Most of them are lies. Don't be a man and be spending money for things that will not work for you. Staphylococcus also I must reiterate or mention very clearly that staphylococcus is not a sexually transmitted disease. They may be associated factors, they may be relating to it, but it is not directly associated with the disease. So, it's not, you know, I see many people in the clinics and they'll tell you, I have Staphylococcus. Maybe it's my own. Like, please, please, that's not what it is. Staphylococcus is a bacterial infection. You find it more on the skin, inside the nose, and from people who have maybe wounds or bruises around. I'm telling you, that's where you find Staphylococcus. Fine, it can cause a lot of issues. Of course, it can cause food poisoning, it can affect the skin, causing what they call scalded skin syndrome. It can be in the blood, causing sepsis can cause toxic shock syndrome it can cause um, infection of the heart of the bones but it's by and large an infection that finds its way into your system when there are breaks in the body or maybe you're exposed to towers and all those kind of things from people that are infected already or have wounds from those things that's how staphylococcus happens okay please i want to beg you staphylococcus is not something that we'll say every day i'll be talking about some people say it can cause impotence it can cause this it can cause stomach it can cause all of that most of the time they just say it to make you feel like you need to treat it now sometimes the reason why you think you are staphylococcus may be because when you went for your test your test said you did that eye vaginal swab or you did a urine culture and they tell you that you have staphylococcus for some of you the reason why the staphylococcus is always persistently there is the way the test sample was taken either in the laboratory or by yourself for, for example, if you want to take a urine, you don't just take urine and just take it. You take a clean catch. They should teach you that in the laboratory. If you want to take a vaginal swab, there's a way a speculum has to be taken to take it professionally. If you take it with touch on the skin, definitely there will be. If I put a swab on my skin and cut it, there will be stuff. But I'm not going to have infection as long as there's no break. And let me also tell you this. Instead of going around being a maga and paying for concussions, the simple treatment is antibiotics. Even if it is resistant to the common antibiotics, there are other antibiotics that are available that will help you treat staphylococcus. And when you treat it and you avoid some other exposure, staphylococcus is gone. So please stop letting them tell you lies about staphylococcus, can cause this, can cause this, can cause this. If you think you have an infection, go for your check, do your test, get treated properly in a proper hospital, and I'm telling you, you can forget about it. I'm sure you know you have to take care of yourself because you deserve it. Thank you for watching.